Here at Multi... I just totally jacked that up. I'm already failing. What's up, everybody? It's Ruben Jay here at Politicon for MultimediaMouth.com with Mindy Robinson. Hello. How you doing? I haven't seen you since Range 15. It's been... When was that movie? When did that movie come out? Well, we filmed it three years ago. I think it came out two years ago. Yeah, and then it's, uh, I, it's a veteran-based. It stars mostly veterans. It's right. a, he's, he's a veteran. Thank, right you, thank you for your service, uh, Mr. O-Time. Uh, so you were here at Politicon. I am. You did a panel earlier. I did. I missed it, unfortunately. It, it was early. It's okay. I, I was probably sleeping. I had to be there, so. You had to be there. <laughs> uh, what did you speak on? Uh, I did the Kaya Jones uh, podcast. Okay. We had you know Kyle, the Parkland survivor, and we had Omar who's running against Maxine Waters. It's a motley crew. And I will speak louder because I can hear someone making a smoothie. <laughs> that's, uh, that's what happens when we're live. It's okay. So uh, we're here at Politicon. You've been uh, just blown up on Twitter with a lot of just what I call drops of knowledge. Drops of knowledge? I like that. Yeah. You know, I've seen a lot of people on like Facebook, they'll screenshot your replies on Twitter and then they'll share it on Facebook. So you've been going viral. Um, why, why so bold? You know, I'm just saying what a lot of people are thinking, and I have a weird way of putting words together. It's a little, it's a little bit over the line. Like, whatever you want to say, I'm just that 10% over. And so I've been trolling people, and it's been really awkward for me at Politicon because I've run into at least two people. I'm like, oh, no. Name and drops. Like, Name drops. Well, Avenetti's here and Ron Perlman, who I literally... Where is Avenetti? I've been calling him out on Twitter, too. I, I, don't, I don't smell him, so yeah. he's probably... CPL's there's, probably there's, running there's, here somewhere. There's no porn stars here, so you yeah. can't... He probably thought I was one, so he, like, looked at me for a second. I'm like, no, I'm just the person that shit post about you. Did Donald Trump touch you at all? Dude, I or? met Trump. He did not <laughs> touch me. He's very nice. He's learned his lesson. <laughs> he hasn't done anything. But, but <laughs> you know, but why, why so bold? You know, you, you really uh, go out and you, you speak your mind and you don't seem to care what other people think, which is good. That's nothing new. Like, the fact that the election happened doesn't change the fact that I've always been vocal. I have a hard time filtering myself. Um, and, and I've been loud and proud before the election, so, so I didn't realize that being a conservative actor was a rarity. And I'm sure it costs me work, but I'm sure it gains me work too. And, and one thing that I like is when I run the political page, I run the Mindy Robinson on Facebook and, and the Twitter and all that other stuff, that people come up to me and they're like, I follow your work, I love what you do, I can't retweet it, I can't, you know, put it out there, I can't share it, but I appreciate what you do. So I, I am doing something. I'm, I'm speaking for loud assholes that are sick of shit, but have a job and can't say anything, basically. Yeah, and I'm, I'm like, I don't, I don't care at this point. You know, you want to fire me, you go ahead and fire me. Like, I, I don't have anything to lose. You know, the, the knowledge is knowledge. Um, what do you hope people gain out of the stuff that you share uh, online? You know, uh, my background is I'm an American history major and political science major, which was no one gave a shit, you know, for 10 years. And then suddenly it kind of became a thing. And I like to break things down in a way that people can understand in a way that they can interpret and with a little bit of sense of humor because no one wants to be preached at and told what to do which I think is a huge problem with the fake news and all the mainstream media they, they're telling you what to think I want to give people the facts in a way that's funny and then at the end of the day they should be able to decide for themselves now what are you working on now? Because <laughs> Range 15 was a couple years Range ago. Was, You've yeah. been doing a lot of stuff since then. What are you working on? Uh, obviously, the other military movie I did, Checkpoints, on Netflix right now. I guess it's on an airport, too. Like, it's on the, you know, the Delta or something. Uh, I'm working on Roe v. Wade. Uh, we already filmed it. It's in the can. It's in post-production. It's a pro-life movie. It was not easy to make. Uh, stag, locations, actors. A lot of people dropped out because of the topic. And, and I think that's ridiculous. I think... You know, there's a huge portion of America that's pro-life. Why can't we tell a story from our perspective? And it's a true story. We're not making stuff up. We're, we're not. These are the true story. Roe herself became pro-life. She tried to overturn it and failed. Which is a fact that no one knows. She tried to overturn it, uh, yeah. and she failed, and she felt awful. You know, she lied about being raped so that people would feel less bad about her abortion, and, and that's another topic. But people were coming up to her and thanking her, like, because of you, I had six abortions. That's not what she signed up for. She thought it was supposed to be like the worst case scenario, end to, to something, and, and it's not. And you know, so I, I did this movie, we've got John Voight, we've got some really good names that are attached to it. And if we save one life, we make one person think it's not a clump of cells, you know, then we've saved a human being. There's gonna be a human being walking around because yeah. hopefully maybe they saw this movie, and hopefully more than one. All right, real quick, two things. Tell people where they can find you on social media. Okay. And uh, are you predicting a blue wave or a blue puddle? <laughs> It's like that blue leak out of a one of those like porta potties, yeah. you know that like sad little <laughs> blue juice of Windex, whatever's in it. Yeah. That's what I predict. No, I predict that uh, there's going to be a red wave of secret 
con- people that either weren't even conservative to begin with, but are now because the left has gone so crazy. Yeah. And a lot of secret Trump supporters, and they're happy with what he's doing. They're happy with what they're seeing. Yeah, we can't wear the shirts and we can't put the stickers out, but we're there. And I think we're going to vote in force. We'll and be assaulted if we do. <laughs> yeah. Yes, which is ridiculous. Like I. I voted for Obama the first time, but I didn't like him the second time. But I don't, I would never throw something at someone just because they had a shirt. I would never do that. Like, that's that's their right. But, you know, it is what it is. And you can find me. Uh, I do my show Red, White, and F.U. Unapologetically Patriotic. Guess what it's about. Uh, you can find me on the Twitter and the Instagram at iHeartMindy. I'm on Facebook, Mindy Robinson. So long as I'm not zucked. But I've actually had a pretty good run since uh, Breitbart stepped in. and, and Not blocked yet. Oh, I've been blocked, but uh, I've, I've been reinstated with an apology. How many Jones. people get that? Oh, wow. Yeah, I know, I'm not permanent. But they're after all of us. Let's keep it real. Mindy Robinson, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.